Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our one let's play of AI the Somnium Files. I am the Flatless Bird, and this is your story based gaming channel. And uh, the last episode, we hit our first lock, which. Urgh, so infuriating. Uh, but we got through the first lock, and then we synced up with Iris here. And as we synced up with Iris, we went back into the Somnium here, trying to get my flu chart open. We went back into the Somnium at this point here, and we had to hit the TV instead of turn the dial. And that set us off on a completely different Somnium. No longer was it about the murders, but instead it was about... It was about other things it, it it's weird it completely changed everything and hopefully now we're not going to see iris die a very horrible death but but um she wants to go home and ota wants to make sure she gets home safely and we know ota ambushed us last time let's hope it doesn't happen this time Let's head to Matsushita Iris, Diner. Come with me. We're going to Matsushita Diner. Were you talking to Ota? Yeah, telepathically. I have special powers. All the dots. Anyway, let's go. Alright. Pretty big revelations in that last video, though. Especially with Boss seemingly being the culprit behind everything. Seemingly, seemingly, seemingly. Sunday, 9.46 p.m. By the way, quick little, uh... Quick little thing that Ashenda pointed out to me. She knows that we're going to do the Ace Attorney trilogy later. Uh, we'll probably do Your Turn to Die. Then we'll do the Ace Attorney trilogy. But they just announced the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles for the PS4. And that is a game that takes place 100 years before the Ace Attorney trilogy. So after we play the Ace Attorney trilogy... We have, you know, something new to look forward to, which is, I think, pretty, pretty awesome. So let's get started. Tessa! Thank you, Ota. It's thanks to you. That's right. It's not like you can do whatever you want just because you're the police. Maybe not. But you better keep your promise. All the dots. All right, let's take a second to look around uh, the Matashita Diner here. We have menus written on the wall, kitchen, uh, anything in the kitchen. We have the counter, of course. Okay, we have a table, kid seat. We haven't been electrocuted yet. That's always good. Uh, let's see, let's see, stools. I don't see anything back there. Posters, windows, fortune. It says good luck. Yeah, we'll probably need it. <laughs> Low tables, cushions. Uh, you can't click on the shoes. Wait, there was something right there. I, I saw it. What was it? Chair. It's a round chair. Okay, I'm so glad I took the extra second to look at that round chair. <laughs> um, a swinging door. Just saw a swinging door. Okay, I think we checked everything out. It's time to talk to the people. Last time, who did I talk to? Do you remember? Was it Ota or was it Iris? Oh, let's talk to Iris first. I don't remember which the order was, but hopefully it's different. Iris is standing next to me. Uh, is this your first time here? Why does that matter? Do you want me to leave? No, I'm just making conversation. About that thing in the Nile. Well, let, let, let's wait for that. Uh, have you ever met Ar Ota's mother? Don't you have things to ask Ota? Hurry up. I do, but I want to talk to you first. Uh, about that thing. Didn't I tell you? Ask Ota about it. Okay, Ota. What's up, buddy? Uh, let's look at him. It's Ota. He looks pretty nervous. I guess about a new cell phone. Where's your mother about that thing? Did I keep you waiting? Did I keep you waiting? 
I was nervous thinking about Tessa. I couldn't stop imagining what dirty, perverted dojin plots you were acting out with her. Uh-huh. As long as I am in your eye socket, that won't happen. Which is good. We do know that, uh, we do know that Date is a little bit, um, mischievous, but I, I don't think towards Iris. Wouldn't happen anyway. Yeah, it's more of a, you know, I like just imagine things about other people who aren't related to me or, and when I say related, I mean, I have a connection with. You know, Iris we have a connection with because the murder suspect. Uh, so we're not interest her, but the receptionist, yeah, the receptionist, she's fair game. I guess she bought a new cell phone. Yeah, I did. Yesterday in Akihabara. And where's your mother? She's in the living room in the back. I think she's watching TV or something. Okay. Did you come all the way here just to ask me that? Uh, about that now thing in the now message. So let's hear it. What is that thing? That thing? Don't play dumb. You sent that message to Iris. Oh, um... All the dots. All the... I wonder if he'll actually tell us the truth dots. All the... Come on, Ota, dots. Date, will you do me a favor? Depends. Are you gonna electrocute me? What? There's a picture on the counter, right? And we're gonna turn our back, and then you're gonna hit us. Yeah, and? I want you to take a good look at it. The photo. Yes. Yes, the photo. One thing that we do need to ask ourselves is, how do the locks work exactly? <laughs> no, we didn't get electrocuted. Oh, that, that's different at least. <sighs> I knew that was coming. Oh, because we didn't get electrocuted though, I was still active. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. You'd AI, day for money. But the point is, how do the locks work? Because in the, the Zero Escape series, of course, you had different histories that you went through. Um, and because you had different histories, you remembered stuff. But how do they work in this game? Do they just lock us off like arbitrarily? It's pounding. And what I mean by that is the game basically says, um, okay, well, this is a lock. And in order to advance, you need to play through more of the story. So there's nothing keeping us from continuing this story except the game arbitrarily says, we want you to hold off on this until later. I, I wonder if that's going to be worked into the narrative of the game. What time is it? The day has turned over. It is Monday, 2.50 a.m. You've been unconscious for nearly five hours. Ota got me. Did... He did. He struck you over the head with the walk. Ah, <sighs> little bastard. Why did he do that? Uh... I don't know, but afterward he ran off with Iris. How do you know? You had lost consciousness, but I was still watching. I recorded video of the incident. Take a look. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car. I'm unconscious over here. Tessa! What is going on What's there? Wrong? Did something happen? No. Everything's fine. Okay, let's go. What just happened? I just walked up to Miyomi and then Miyomi just like oh, Stop. Ah. How's that help? Why didn't you chase them? I'm sorry. You should have jumped out of my eye and ran after them. I couldn't move. The mechanics controlling my ambulatory motion were short-circuited by the blow to your head. <sighs> Hi, boss. Date, the boss is calling. Yeah, I, I figured that one out. Oh, how am I going to report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Oh, not again! Just now, the killer... Well, 
Just watch the video. I sent the address to Iba. Oh, not again! Oh, come on! Iris. No, that's... The criminal is streaming this live. Iva, the source. Identified. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Okiura? Date, focus. We need to get to the site, now. Here we go again. I kept my foot to the gas all the time. I could feel the sweat on my palms. The engine raised a high-pitched scream, but I could barely hear it. My heartbeat was pounding in my ears, shaking me to the core. How much time had passed? The feeling of time itself had disappeared. Eventually, the car reached the long bridge. Shortly after, the image changed. <sighs> that sick bastard! There's that... There's that bear! Actually, in the bear costume. Like, is that boss? Tessa, hold on, I'll save you. Hota. Joe Goodman did theorize. Friend of our channel said, "Pewter may be behind everything." Stay away from Tessa. Uh Date, we've almost reached the destination. And if you, if Pewter is in the bear costume, although you said Pewter's the mastermind, not the actual killer, we're still under the assumption that Boss is in the costume. But how could she be in the costume and call us and let us know? I mean, this. Ah. Uh... Please, please let me make it in time. Are we gonna be a little too late once again? Or is something going to change here? Harbor Warehouse District, Monday at 3.17 a.m. We didn't see Iris killed this time, though. Thought we did last time. Oh, what's this? Iris isn't killed! But Ota stabbed? You okay? Date. Where did they go? Through the back door. Just hang on, Ota. Help is on the way. Yeah, but can we uh, save the girl first, please? Don't worry. Iris is alive. Well, get her off this contraption. Backup is en route to this location. Date, pursue the culprit. All right, I'm on it. How long would it take you to get off this saw blade? Come on. Killer could have easily doubled back and like finished the job. I Man, I know you want to pursue the culprit, but you want to... Your first priority should be saving lives. Police headquarters, Monday, 9.34. Hey, how much has happened? Apparently he got away because... Any traces of the culprit? Yeah, we didn't... Still nothing. Why did the culprit leave? He must have heard us coming. Did we get there, like, minutes before our previous? Uh, I'll need to look at, the, like, the time of our last... Of our last, um, interception. To see if we got there at, like, 3.30 instead of 3.17. I mean, those 10 minutes could mean a lot of time, right? We also didn't catch the culprit on any of the surveillance cameras. They probably got away through the back alley. So why in a giant bear costume? While wearing a polar bear costume. Exactly. Maybe they took it off and threw it in the ocean. If it were filled with something heavy, it would sink to the bottom. So why don't you have people going around and searching the depths of the ocean to try to figure out, you know, what, what if they could find it. By the way, I just noticed that that key is still there. I thought that key was uh, new, but the, the Matryoshka just kind of like blocks it. 
All right, let's do our usual look around, see if there's anything in this place. And I hate searching this place because boss's office is just so full of stuff. I mean, come on, look, look at, why do you have this much junk in your office? Now, I can't say much because I'm a bit of a hoarder myself. Uh, my office at work is just filled with stuff and yeah, so I can't really blame her. Uh, boss sitting on top of the front desk from this angle. It looks like you should be able to see up her skirt, but you can't. Not that I would want to. Ah, oh, Jesus. Uh, anyway, I accidentally clicked on her trying to click on, um, trying to click on. I thought this was something because it was green, but I didn't realize it was boss. Uh, let's see. So I'll just take a second, and while we're taking a second, we can talk about what we just saw. Uh, in this playthrough, apparently we were able to stop Iris from becoming cut in half, which is great. Uh, Ota is still hurt, but he's hurt. He's not dead, or at least we don't think he's dead. Uh, we don't have any clarification on that yet. But once we talk to Boss, I'm pretty sure she'll give us clarification on, you know, Ota's status. Doesn't seem to be anything new in here, but guys... Yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything new in here. Um, do we check everything? I don't think I checked the coat hanger. This thing is hard to click on. And we have a plastic figure, we have the rug, we have the clock. It's kind of weird, I'm actually starting to memorize like the objects in the office. Uh, computer. All right, I think we are good. Let's go talk to boss. About so, about Iris and Ota, about Okura Fishery. Has CSI found anything in the warehouse? I want to know about Iris and Ota first. They were taken to Central Hospital. Ota's surgery went well. He's in treatment now. Oh, that's good news. He's stable. Nothing life-threatening. Iris, though. Is she still in surgery? Yeah. Iris's left eye was forcibly removed. Wow, lie. That's horrifying. Because the optic nerve is connected to the brain, the surgery will take some time to complete. Will she be okay? Um, have you contacted them? The the parents? Of course. Hitomi is at the hospital, waiting for the surgery to finish. And Mayumi? She was at the hospital earlier, waiting for Ota to get out. I think she went back home to get some clothes and things for Ota's hospital stay. Date, last night, Mayumi left the diner to chase after Iris and Ota. Perhaps she knows something. Yeah, she might. Let's listen to Mayumi's story. How about so? So, Sejima? He was in Iris' Somnium yesterday. Right. But Iris says she's never met him. Why not ask So about it? So lives in Azabu, right? I guess I could. How about Okira Fishery? You should ask Iva about that. Yes, I have already done some research. Okira Fishery is owned by the Okira we know. Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Currently, Okira Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other persons. So it's a coincidence the criminal chose that location? Unknown. Okay. Interesting. Uh, a lot of stuff that we've heard before. Now you may say, well, Flightless Bird, uh, some of the stuff you already know, some of the stuff you've already gone through from your previous uh, branch. So why are you still including it in the video? Why don't you cut it out? Why don't you take the time to do that? And the simple answer is because I don't like to. Um, I want you to experience the game just like I experienced the game. By the time we're done with this game, I want it to be that we're done with this game, as in we collectively as a group. I don't want to cherry pick things, you know, as we go through. I, I like to try to keep the story as complete as possible. Now that is a little different with the RPGs. With the RPGs, when I grind or I necessarily backtrack, I'll cut that because it's stuff you've already seen before. And you don't really feel like you're missing much because you really aren't missing anything except you know, an hour or so of me in the background doing absolutely nothing important. 
Uh, but in this way, I hope that as a story-based gaming channel, you know the full story and you feel like you're involved in the story. And yes, definitely, you are involved. Comment as you go through these videos. Even if this video is like a year from now and you're watching it for the first time and we're way past it, still comment on them. I, I, I go back and I try to respond to every single comment that I see. Sometimes YouTube hides comments from me and I don't see them, but I, I love the interaction in this community. I want to hear from a representative. They're giving statements at HQ right now. The line is pretty long. You could just talk to Mizuki. Right. She's part of the Okiyura family too. Oh, speaking of. Hey boss, did you end up sending anyone to take care of Mizuki yesterday? Jeez, you're finally getting around to asking that? All the dots. Yes, she's fine. I had one of our new recruits take her. She took her back to your house, so Mizuki should still be there. That's good to know. So Mizuki's at home. And Hopefully. I'm fairly certain she's furious with you. Hey, I'd rather her be furious at me than uh dead. After leaving her alone with Mama, I mean. Has CSI found anything at the warehouse? It's still ongoing, but they haven't found anything of note yet. Date, Iba, go to the warehouse again and investigate. Looks like we have a you lot of different things. You might be able to find some useful clues. Which makes sense because in the uh, the previous one there was a, a bunch of places all to right, go boss. to, right? All right, boss. I'm going to investigate all this. Got it. We're counting on you. Let's go, Iba. Roger that. I'll stay on top of it just like normal. Okay, let's go to the map. Oh yeah, so just like before, we have a lot of different places to go to. Last time the cold storage warehouse took the most time because Pewter interrupted us. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, because I've been told, just start at the top and go to the bottom. I'll start at the top, and if this one takes like 10 plus minutes, I'll go ahead and stop the video there. And then we'll take care of the other locations in the next video. Um, yeah, uh, so cold storage warehouse. So many videos have been pretty long. I try to make it, you know, between 30 and 45 minutes as a rule, usually. But, you know, when you get stuck on a good story, sometimes you have to go 15 minutes. Sometimes you have to go an hour. I just let the video length be determined by, be determined by what's going on in the story. Like, I don't want to put a hard cut in the middle of an event. Two cars. These cars have been parked here since before 3.17 a.m. Okay, that's new. One van and one station wagon. All right, let's go ahead and look around this beautiful place. Date, look, the school of mullet. And aren't the fish so cute? <laughs> it's good to know that you don't just like bugs; you like everything else. A uh, school of mullet and water, but it has nothing to do with this case. It's good to see Iba be so excited Iba, about something now. What's in the box? It looks like a person. What's in the box? What's in the box? What? No, never mind. <laughs> it's a silicone doll. In the shape of a woman. Oh, I see. Grade 7 reference there. I just saw that movie for the first time uh, about a month or so ago. Right here, you're on the scene. In old days, you used to use tape for this. Now we got cheap hologram technology that can do the job even better. Well, sometimes we use good old-fashioned yellow tape, too. Hologram barrier. Can it's you a crane. Please move the crane. Okay, that was creepy. Date, please shut up. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> the crane is towering. Uh, it's a box, silicone doll inside. Oral drum. It looks like that girl Reika from the cabaret club in Nakamaguro. Really? An oil drum? He looks nothing like her. There's an oil drum. It does not look anything like Reika. Warehouse is all in the line. The cops from the head office examined everything. I couldn't find anything useful. Warehouse all in the line. Stock containers. I don't think this does anything to do with what happened. This station wagon is a stolen car. Stolen? Last night, the owner of the vehicle reported it stolen. It was stolen at 10.33 p.m. yesterday. The theft occurred in Fuchu, Tokyo, in the parking lot of Famisto, a convenience store along Koshu Highway. The Famisto parking lot, huh? The car was stolen while the owner was shopping inside the store. The vehicle's engine was on. The doors might have even been unlocked, which would have made the theft easy for the culprit. Who took the car? Ota Matsushita. Hmm. What? Ota got into the car and drove off. So he took... Oh, he was probably... How did he know Iris was taken? 
The security cameras at the convenience store caught the entire incident. Well, he would know Iris was taken because he was with Iris. So maybe he saw Iris get taken and then he chased after the person by stealing someone else's car. Okay, I, I, I get to see how this could work. Oto's fingerprints were also found on the steering wheel of that car. There is no doubt that it was Ota. The stream of the polar bear started around 3 a.m. Correct. About 10 minutes later, Ota appeared on screen. Ota stole the car at 10.33 p.m. That makes four and a half hours until he appeared on screen. Weird. All the dots. All the, what was he doing in those four hour dots? Station wagon Ota stall. Hmm. That's really, 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 it raises a lot of questions. Morning post. A baller to pillar to more ship. Forklift. There's nothing special about it. A cold storage warehouse became the scene of a horrible crime this morning. Okira Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Yeah, because let's not forget, even though no one died, uh, Ota was severely injured and Iris lost an eye and, you know, her, she's fighting for her life. So even though the, the, the scene wasn't as horrific as the one that we saw before, still is really horrific. Van. Who owns the van? The Matsushita family. It appears as though it was used for transporting ingredients and supplies. Tessa, wait. Uh, I'll get the car. Ota's fingerprints were found on the steering wheel and gear shift. Found on both? Iris's fingerprints were found around the passenger seat. Those were the only prints recently made. How was this fingerprints on both cars? Was there anything else found inside the car? There was one thing. What was it? Ota's cell phone. The one he purchased two days ago in Akihabara. It slid under the driver's seat. Where's the phone now? Its data is being inspected and evaluated. Oh, hold on, I want to talk to the police officers. I cannot officers. find anything in the vicinity that could be a clue. Me either. Let's check inside the warehouse. No, I want to talk to the officers. Aww. Alright, into the warehouse we go. Wow, it's cold in here. The air conditioners have stopped. However, the insulation in the walls has kept the room temperature close to what it was this morning. I should finish this investigation before I freeze to death. Well then, you had better get started. Now, before you say, hey, Fly Spirit, what's up with your screen? This is actually how it looks. Uh, all this uh, whiteness, this is cold air. Wow. He's freezing. Look at him. I just love the uh, the way the characters interact in the game. You can tell the guy's cold because of the way he's moving. All right, let's see here. Shells packed with cardboard boxes. I asked the cop on the scene, said there wasn't anything special in them. There's a dark spot over there. Shadows on the left catch my eye. An it oil drum. It really does look like Reika from that cabaret club in Nakamagura. It does not. I told you it does not. An oil drum, probably not a clue this time. What's that sh shadow? A hook is hanging from the ceiling crane. Oh, it looks, there's like, right here. Should we click on this first, or should we click on everything else first? Well, left is right. Let's start by going left to right. It's dark over there. Is it of concern? Yeah, but without some light, I can't see. I am perfect for times like this. Envy, night vision. What is this? Square object? Huh, there's something there. You should go pick it up. All the dots. Huh. I recognize this. An Odoroki Man chocolate. You've been collecting them for three years. Each chocolate contains a special sticker inside. Years ago, you started buying them for Mizuki, but eventually, you got hooked on them. Even after Mizuki lost interest, you kept buying them. Huh. That's a bittersweet memory. The Odoroki Man chocolate. All the dots. Why is this here? Perhaps we can use it as a clue. Let's investigate further. Yeah, the problem is if it's a clue, the only one that links it to is Mizuki and myself. Did Mizuki do this? 
I don't see anything else. I can't see well in the dark. Okay, well now it's grayed out, which is good. I like it being grayed out. Oh, let's talk to the policeman. Uh, aren't you cold? Yeah, some engineer from NRIPS created a jacket lined with heating wires. That keeps me warm. Nice, right? You still All look cold. All the cops and inspectors around here are wearing them. Yeah, you still look really cold. Uh, because it's his hands that are cold. Oh! So his body's staying warm, but his hands are cold because they have a uh, warmth for his hands. Oh, ho, ho. Any process on the investigation? The progress. I checked this place point by point, but didn't find nothing. Okay. Um, equipment. A video camera and laptop. This is what the criminal used to stream. All the dots. All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. It would be difficult to determine a suspect from them. I have logged into the Wi-Fi in this warehouse. Okiura Fishery Co. Ltd. is listed as the owner. However, I found the password written directly on the router. Anyone who saw it could have used it. A video camera and laptop used for the stream. You probably can't find the culprit with these though. Hmm. All right, forklift A. The tires of the forklift are clearly frozen to the ground. It hasn't been moved in a long time. Yeah, you can see that from here. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It just seemed noteworthy. Why is it noteworthy? I don't know if this has anything to do with what happened this morning. Obviously, you can't move it. Forklift. I don't see anything special about it. That machine is used to cut ice. We have gathered testimony from the workers regarding it. This has always been in the warehouse, so the suspect did not bring it here. Any fingerprints? Nothing. No fingerprints have been found at the scene at all. This entire warehouse is clean. I see. <sighs> Bless you. <clears throat> oh, it's freezing. Date, we're at our limit. We've examined everything of interest here. Let's go elsewhere. I agree. I do not agree. An ice cutting machine. It's been here a while, so I haven't moved. Hey, please stop blinking at me. I will move when I am good and ready. There are only a few items on the shelf. Is this warehouse not in use? I can't find any leads on the shelf. There's a cardboard box on the floor. There's nothing in it. I want a box on the shelf. It's empty. That must be Ota's blood. That's where it was stabbed and went down. An evidence marker. It's a little marker that's supposed to check evidence at scene. Where's A at? Oh, it's way back there. Yeah, it's way back there. That's where the killer ran out. Which, weirdly enough, we can't actually go and look at where the killer ran. Hi, Inspector. The inspector is doing his duties as usual. Uh, any clues? Uh, no, nothing so far. Uh, do you have a family? No, unfortunately I live alone. With a job like this, I don't really get the chance to meet new people. Once this case is wrapped up, how about you and I go to a cabaret club together? Hey, now you're talking. Aww. You're buying, right? Sure, I'll expense it. I recorded that conversation. <laughs> I'll be sending it to the boss later. <laughs> uh, on second thought, uh, why don't we split it? Aw, lame. I agree. I was a party pooper. Uh, we see each other a lot, don't we? Yeah, wish it were under better circumstances. Watch Kagumi be the killer. I mean, it. I, he's, he's like one of those people. Uh, if you ever played a game like... Uh, uh, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't played a game, but there are other games where you like meet this character at the very beginning of a story and they seem minor and then later in the game they become like the big bad. So what if uh, Kugumi here is our killer? Too bad you're not a girl. This could be the start of something. <laughs> yeah, thinking the same thing. Uh, what's your name? <laughs> Good one, Date. <laughs> Have I asked you before? Uh, yeah. Wait, give me a second. It's coming back to me. It has something to do with glass? Where are you getting this from? I have a pretty unique name. What's your name? 
<laughs> Do you remember now? Yeah, I think I've got it. It was three syllables. Something like, oh, six letters long. You remember all that, but not <laughs> my name? <laughs> you still don't know. No, not yet, but I I've almost got it. Three syllables, six letters. All the dots. Kodaka, right? <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Do you want me to just tell you? No, no, g give me a hint. It starts with Ka. Starts with Ka, three syllables, six letters. You're making this sound like a riddle. Um. All the dots. Is it. <laughs> Kaniza? <laughs> All the dots. Oh, oh my god, dots. Yeah, sure, man. That's my. <laughs> His name is Kaniza. Probably born between June 22nd and July 22nd. That's my friend, Kaniza. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, at least we end on a um, on a bit of a comedic note here. Let's look at our appendix. Looks like we got something new. The National Research Institute in Police Science. The scientific research branch of the NPD located in Kashiwa, Chiba. In addition to developing new technology for crime investigation and prevention, this branch also performs evidence inspection and testing. When analysis is too large scale or technical to be handled by this branch, it is sent to the National Institute of Sciences, a similar but unrelated research organization. Family store. Family store. A convenience store chain popular nationwide. Oda stole the station wagon from a family store parking lot. Hmm. Alright my friends, well I'm the Flightless Bird and this is your story based gaming channel and this is our blind let's play of AI the Somnium Files. A lot of things are, well I shouldn't say a lot of things are a little bit different, there seems to be a lot of different things going on. For one, the crime scene is a lot less depressing, uh, even though it was a very serious crime that happened. You know, we don't have two dead bodies on the floor, which is great. Uh, it still would be nice though if we can make it so that Iris doesn't lose her iris and ota isn't severely injured but compared to the alternative this is an improvement hopefully there's another history we can go where we can save them completely but we're just gonna have to work towards that there's a lot of places that we can go we can go to machichita diner sejima residence central hospital in the date residence uh, i'm really looking forward to someone like the central hospital uh go talk to ota see iris but at the same time, uh, Date Residence will be different as well. Don't forget, the last time we went through these, we went to the place and basically we just got all the dots as a response because no one wanted to say anything because the grief was just so strong. No one could, you know, even speak about anything. So hopefully in this uh, next episode, we'll actually be able to get some answers from people. Until then, my friends, I love you all so much and so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.